Let us go to the altar of God, the God of our gladness and joy. Let us enter the court of the house of the Lord and sing to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good high noon. And welcome to the Minor Basilican Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We are now on the fifth day of our novena, and we also celebrate the Feast of... Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Companion Martyrs. We come together to thank the Lord for all the blessings that we receive from Him. And we come together also to bring our prayers and petitions to God through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions. So my dear friends, as we come together let us make now ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. And once again, let us ask God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord our God, as the Blessed Virgin was at prayer with the Apostles, you poured out on her in abundance the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Grant through her intercession that we too, being filled with the same Spirit, may persevere with one mind in prayer and bring to the world around us the good news of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the resurrection of Jesus, the apostles gathered together around him and asked, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Jesus answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When Jesus had said this, as the apostles were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from the, their sight. While the apostles were looking intently at the sky as Jesus was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When the apostles entered the city, 
they went to the upper room where they were staying. Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, Simon of Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city. The Lord loves the city founded in holy mountains, loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling in Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. But of Zion it must be said, there were, they, they all were born right there. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city. The Most High confirms this. The Lord notes in the register of the peoples, this one was born the, here. So, as, so all sing in their festive dance, within you is my true home. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city. Please stand. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to Jesus but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. Jesus said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kaposo ba kayo? O kapatid? Dahil kung kapuso kayo, kayo ay magkakapatid. At kung magkakapatid kayo, sigurado ako magkapamilya. Ito yung nangyari sa ating ibanghilyo. Sinabi ng mga apos na mga tao kay Maria o kay Jesus, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. Jesus said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Mga kapatid, ito yung definition ni Maria ng pamilya. Ang pamilya para sa kanya ay hindi lamang yung blood relationship. Yung isang tatay, isang nanay, isang tahanan. Para sa ating Panginoon, in-extend niya ang pamilya, pinalaki niya. Pinalaki niya. Walang limit. 
na magkapatid lamang sa dugo o isang apelyedo lamang. Hindi. Our Lord goes beyond outside the fence of a home. Our Lord goes beyond blood relationship. Kaya nung tinanong siya, o sinabihan siya, your mother is here, want to see you. So he answered, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Hindi lamang yung nakarinig sa salita ng Diyos, ngunit hindi pa nakinggan, hindi na kompleto. Para sa kanya, yung nakarinig ng salita ng Diyos ay nakinig sa kanyang puso at dahil nanahan sa kanyang puso, ang kanyang puso ay magsasabi sa kanyang katawan, Akonet, gawin mo. Huwag mong itago sa puso lamang. No. Put it into action. Kaya, ang puso nagkaroon ng extension, hinatid upang magkaroon ng kapatid at magkaroon ng malaking pamilya. Napakaganda, di ba? Napakaganda. At ito lahat ay dahil sa grasya ng Diyos. Grasya ng Diyos ang nagpagalaw sa ating tainga upang makinig sa kanyang salita sa ating puso upang ito ay gawin na isang maging aksyon sa ating buhay. At kung lahat-lahat na nakinig sa salita ng Diyos at put it into action ay magkaroon magkapamilya sila. At ito yung actually ginawa ng mga apostoli sa ating unang pagbasa. Pagkatapos na umakyat ang ating Panginoon sa langit, sila ay bumalik sa Jerusalem at nagtipon-tipon sa isang bahay bilang isang pamilya. At ano dapat ang gawin ng isang pamilya? Sabi nga, a family that prays together stays together. Nagdasal sila. At ang kanilang dasal ay isang preparasyon para sa pagdating ng Espiritu Santo na promise ng ating Panginoon bago siya umakyat ng langit. At alam niyo kung sino yung kasama ng mga apostoles sa isang bahay, sa isang senakal? Walang iba kundi ang ating mahal na ina, si Maria. When the apostles entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All this devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. They come together 
as one family with one heart and with one action. They come together to pray. Come together to pray. Alam nyo, masaya ako na nakilala ko yung isang pamilya na nagdarasal ng Santo Rosario every 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening. At dahil hindi sila makatikuntipon sa isang bahay, ang ginagawa nila ay zoom. Nagsusum sila. At maganda dahil yung mga bata, yung apo, ang silang nag lead ng prayer ng Santo Rosario. Ito ang pamilya. Ang pamilya may isang puso parang magkakapatid dahil nakinig sila sa salita ng Diyos sinapuso and put into action. Kasama nila certainly sa kanilang pagdarasal ang ina ng Diyos ang ating ina Maria. Tanong ko nga eh, hindi ba mahirap? Ang sagot sa akin, hindi po. Dahil bata pa, tinuturuan na ang mga magkakapatid, tinuruan na kanila mga anak na kailangan sa gitna ng pamilya na riyan, si Maria. Dahil pagkapagkasama si Maria, daladalan Maria ang kanyang anak. At kung nandiyan si Maria, na riyan din si Jesus. Napakaganda, masaya, at ito ay isang kapamilya. Magkapuso ba kayo o magkapatid o magkapamilya? Magkapuso tayo sa gresa ng Diyos, magkapatid tayo sa ating pananampalataya, isang pamilya tayo. The family of God. The big, big family of God. And Mary is our mother. We will stand. <clears throat> Let us pray for our needs so that like Mary, we may respond generously to God in our daily lives. For every intention we say, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious leaders, that they may remain faithful and committed to the task of shepherding the faithful, especially those who have lost their way, that they may be led back to the path towards Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That our government leaders may find inspiration in the life of Mary, who lovingly served the Lord in accepting the responsibility of bearing and raising the child Jesus. May they serve the people in the spirit of charity, putting aside their personal interest and advancing the common good of the people. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That the love of God, made incarnate in the world through the Virgin Mary, inspire us to share the same love with one another, especially to the poor and the marginalized in the society. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary heeded the message of God unreasonably. May we patiently discern 
that will of God for us in our daily lives and become a living witness of God's generosity to others, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all the faithful departed, that they may see face to face the radiance of God's glory in heaven, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our health care providers and frontliners, the sick and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies, swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For our personal intentions and for the intention of all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. We also include the intentions of this Mass. And uh, it does include in our prayers, especially our Bishop Socrates Villegas, who is celebrating his birthday today. Also my classmate, Father Arturo Bisti. And let us pray for everyone who are asking for favors, especially for their loved ones. Lalong lalo na yung mga may namatay sa patuloy. God our Father, through the intercession of Mary, fill our hearts with your love, and as you reveal to us by the star the birth of your Son as man, so lead us through his sufferings and death to the glory of his resurrection. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. All Holy Father, receive these gifts from joyful hearts and grant that we may follow closely the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary by obeying the voice of the Spirit and seeking to praise your glory in all things. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right, and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God. How wonderful is the example you have given us of harmony and prayer in the church at its beginning. You show us the mother of Jesus as she prays with the apostles in oneness of mind and heart. She who waited in prayer for the coming of Christ is still at prayer as she calls upon the promised paraclete. She who has overshadowed by the spirit of the incarnation of the word is once more filled with your gift from on high at the birth of God's new people. As she keeps vigil in prayer, her heart on fire with love, and she is the model of the church, enriched by the gifts of the Spirit and keeping watch for the second coming of Christ. Through him, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Hold. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please all need. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis' assistant Bishop, Gerard, our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us save your command and form by divine teaching. We dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer his Father the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
police stand. Let us pray. Lord God, you have fed your holy people with the one bread of life. Renew us with the one gift of the Holy Spirit and grant that under the protection of the Blessed Virgin, we may work for the unity and peace of all those for whom your Son offered himself as the sacrifice of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The schedule of the Masses on that day will be at the following, 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and High Mass at 4 p.m., to be presided by His Excellency Socrates B. Villegas Didi, Archbishop of Lingay and Dagupan, and to be followed by sending off of the pilgrim image to all the streets of the Poblacion of Manawag. Please light a candle outside your homes as the image of the Apu Bucket passes by. It will be concluded with a closing ceremony. See you all here or join us live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. Thank you. Please stand. I would like to thank you also for your presence, especially during the celebration. I would like to thank especially those uh, BECs who sponsored during this uh, Novena and Mass. So thank you very much for our online uh, participants or mass covers. I would like to thank our radio staff, our assers, our commentator, our sacristan, and uh, especially our frontliners, our security guards. Thank you very much. Please keep safe and continue, and we continue praying for each other. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary wealth in his great kindness to redeem the human race be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere in the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered at this day carry away with you the gift of spiritual choice and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may you, the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and let us pray for them. We will also bless your religious articles after. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindly toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in its your knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 